Hi everyone, this is a Math OD2 video. This is 3.1, which is using the product quotient and power rules. In my previous video, I worked through this example. So this is my second example um, in 3.1. So in the last video, I strongly urged you to remember order of operations as you work through and resolve these problems. So let's start with parentheses. Inside our parentheses, we have 2a to the fourth power. Are there any numbers that can be combined or anything that can be simplified? I don't see anything. So now we're going to move on to our exponents. a cubed is an exponent, but there's nothing really here that could be simplified. a cubed is just a cubed. So what we now need to simplify is this bit here, the parentheses that are being raised to a power. Also, in my last video, I strongly urged you to write out the entire equation every time. That way you don't forget <laughs> that that part of the equation is there and then get the wrong answer. Okay, so here we are going to be using our power rule. In the previous video, I made a silly metaphor of using distributing the exponent is kind of like if you're babysitting kids, right? If somebody gets a treat, everyone has to get the same treat. So sometimes my students forget to distribute that exponent to every single term. So the first term that I see is the two. Okay, two has to be cubed. And really it's not a separate term, I suppose. It's a separate value or number. Okay, then we have a to the fourth that also has to be cubed. So let's continue our problem. So we have seven, a to the third. You can use a calculator to evaluate two cubed. That gives you eight. And then a to the fourth quantity cubed is an example of our power rule. If you forget how to do the power rule, you can go back and watch my video on the power rule. But the power rule basically says that you are multiplying these two exponents. So that becomes a to the 12th. Okay, at this point, I suggest what I call rearranging the furniture. So recall the commutative property of multiplication, which just says that it doesn't matter what order you place these values in. Two times three is the same as three times two. You learned that probably back in elementary school when you were memorizing your times tables. So I'm gonna use that property to rearrange these values. I'm gonna place my numbers, the seven and the eight next to each other. And then I'm gonna place the variables next to each other as well. This is useful because I can see that Seven times eight is 56. And then, okay, what property do we need to use here? Is it the product rule, the quotient rule, or the power rule? Well, these are being multiplied together. So this is an example of the product rule. And remember the product rule says that if I have something like this, same base, then I can simply add my exponents together. So that gives me a to the 15th power. And that's it, we're done. And that's our final answer.